I'm at the fox's den right now. So... I don't know if it's early in the morning or not. I can't really keep track of time anymore with this game, honestly. But I figured, why not just start off with a nice little fox's den quest? Because... Who doesn't love hanging around with foxes? They're so cute and adorable. And apparently they have the same personality as cats, so... And I love cats. Okay, so... Are you really taking me- Ooh, who's that? Oh no, someone's being attacked. I got you. I got you. Wait, is this the enemy? Oh, it's the enemy. You know what? I'm glad. Oh no, oh no, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. What? What the hell? Great! So not only did I get attacked by a bear, I'm being attacked by these mongol pigs. Come here. I was trying to be all nice and kind, making sure you didn't get attacked, when in all reality it was an ambush. The whole time. Disgusting. Disgusting. This is Lover of Ladies here. Like my video. Share my video. Leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys, but most importantly, please subscribe to my channel, that way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me, and hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload the videos, and by the way, I actually created my first coloring book as well called Taco Dreams, I'll leave the link in the description, that way you can check it out, it is on sale on Amazon. If you enjoy coloring, or if you know anyone that likes to color, send them my way. Nice! Nice! I love getting free gifts, honestly. And look at this cute little fox. Look how adorable you are. <gasps> I get to pet you too? Aww, that is so cute! You see, that definitely made my day. Thank you. Another fox's den? Wow, is this gonna be another one of those episodes where I'm just finding all sorts of dens? I don't mind it, do you? If you do, then you can definitely skip, but either way, I'm definitely gonna have a lot of fun. I just love hanging out with these little cute foxes. Who wouldn't? Maybe... Maybe I get to pet it again, who knows? Can we actually just pause for a second here? Look at the view. Look at the waves crashing against the beach. And the music. The music is definitely setting the vibes. I love it. I can never get enough. And look, the fox is patiently waiting for me. You are so kind, you know that? Wait, are we actually going through the beach? Oh, wow, that's so cool. Wait, did you see the crabs on the beach? Look, a crab! Oh my gosh, they actually have little crabs crawling through the sand! That's amazing! I just love little details like that, honestly. Yes! And I get to pet! Yay! You know, just petting the fox definitely is making me happy. I feel so loved, honestly. And look, the little fox is jumping with joy! How cute! I like doing these little fox quests. I really do. Oh no, this is Mongol territory. Huh. Okay. And I just love how even though I'm staring right at them, they haven't even noticed me yet. These guys are really blind or they just don't really care. 
And I'm not going to do a standoff this time. I need to practice on my stealth skills. I'm not going to lie. So let me observe this territory first. See exactly what I'm dealing with. Okay, I got one person right there. Do I have enough um, arrows? Okay, I'm working with 17 arrows. That's definitely enough. So, no, 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 chill, you didn't see anything. You're drinking too much sake and you're hallucinating. You didn't see anything. Cut it out. No, you didn't see anything. Oh, you, you did see something. Come here. There you go. I guess I can't. I can't really do any self. Come here. Let's go. When stance is effective. Um. Oh, okay, hold on. Can I change this? I forgot how it changed to one stand, but... Ooh, they're getting up on me. That's so cute. Okay. Come here. There you go. There you go. That's perfect. You too? Come here. Yes! I didn't even need to hit him. Or can I? There you go. Come on. No? Okay. Heal! 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 What? What do I do? Hold on, how do I change this? Oh, wow, this is crazy. Assassinate, baby. You too. Come on! Why can't I kill you? Ooh, this sucks. I really can't kill him. Alright, let me just see if I can... Maybe I'm just having a moment here. Right here. Right in the face. No? There you go. I killed the leader. Whew! That was pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. I totally forgot how to change my stance, too. Shut up. I just love hearing their screams of agony and pain. It definitely makes me feel very fulfilled, honestly. Okay, so I really need to know how to do this, honestly. No, 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 no. Can I... Is there any way... There you go. Water. Wind stands. There you go. I got it. Okay. Now that I made enough noise, I know they know I'm here. Question is, should I still be sneaky? Yeah, I'm gonna try and be stealthy. I need to learn anyways. Luckily, I didn't get killed, but still... I gotta learn how to just chill and not make too much noise. Or be seen as much. I'm gonna do this. Relax. Be patient with me. Are you serious? There you go. I guess there's not a lot of people here. I'm surprised. Oh no, this is awkward. Okay, let's go. Oh no, they calling back up. Oh no, what am I going to do? Let me hide. Oh, awkward! He's right there! Ooh. Oh no, we're not doing that. Bye. Right in the- wow, I actually stabbed him right underneath his chin. You too. 
Come on. There you go. Woo. This is so awkward. There you go. Come on. Thank you. Because of that glitch alone, it saved me. Right here, and right here, and oh, right here. Right here. Oh no, we're not doing that. Come on. What? How are you gonna stab me so hard? There you go. That I fell. What kind of weapon is that? Yes, I just love collecting supplies from dead bodies. What? What? Come here. Come here. Right here. Nice. Who's next? Come here! Why are you running away? Come here. Oh, great. Oh, that's nice. I like doing that one. But seriously, where did this guy go? Chicken! Where you at? Oh, no. This is horrible. Shut up. So I killed everyone? Wow. Everyone is gone. Amazing. Spectacular. Never been done before. And it's about to rain, too. I'll take that. Thank you. I'll take that. And is there anything else I can do besides just taking all the little stuff? Because... Nah, I think I'm good. As long as I see my enemy's blood all over the ground, that's a good day for me. I wonder what she needs, because she's just standing there so depressed in the middle of this cemetery. I saw a flock of birds circling in the sky, my lord. Oh no. I went to see where they were and found the most beautiful place. I sat and stared, lost track of time. We all need inspiration these days. During times of conflict, warriors would visit such places and write haiku. I heard the art of haiku prepares the mind and body for battle. Is it true, my lord? It is. But you don't That's why... to benefit from poetry. Ooh, yes, yeah, speak the truth. Speak the truth. I like that. So, since there's nothing for me to swipe, I'm just gonna keep on going through my journal. My journal of... of sorry. Can't talk today. Going through my journal of journeys right here. So, let's head on out. What is this place? I'm not gonna lie. This is giving me, like, sleepy hollow vibes. And it's not even Halloween. Kusano. Protect me. Okay, but you're out in the open, Good so... Bodies. Oh. Oh, did you actually do this? Like, I'm impressed. Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage. And butchered them. That's a little I'm not overboard. Sure, my Lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction. Moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts. Shigenori, the fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima. Shigenori never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. 
Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. Wow, that's As the sick. final beast fell, the storm cleared, and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer what? He'll get here. So he killed a whole bunch of people because he was not able to learn the heavenly strike. I mean, normally tamper chandrum, but that's a little overboard, honestly. Like, grow up. And now he's chasing people under the bridge, too? On top of that? That's the bridge the musician mentioned. Okay, so I really hope the woman's alive. Okay, she is. My hey. Lord, so many. He I know. Slaughtered. I know, I saw. Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Who? Yasuhira Koga. Okay. He fought for the Yarikoa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. So, my tracking skills are needed once again. I really hope I'm able to deliver because tracking in this game is a little bit hard for me. So I have to follow the horse tracks at night because it makes so much sense. Only that he was a retainer for the Yarikawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Tsushima, but when the Mongols attacked, he returned. From where? I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. Thankfully, I'm still able to see the horse tracks, but honestly, goes to Tsushima. You are really expecting me to track footprints at night? I mean, I know you have a lot of faith in me, but woof, you really do have a lot of faith in me. Or maybe I should learn how to have faith in myself, since this game already does with me. Hmm. So he is somewhere up through this hill, trying to hide, I suppose. That's a really cool lamp, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, like I said, this here is giving me a lot of Sleepy Hollow vibes. The eerie atmosphere, the desolate footpath. Up ahead, they're constructing a roadblock. What? Right here? Wait, wait, I'm straying against the path. Oh my goodness. Am I surprised? Nope. Okay, so right here. Cool. Mongols. The music. Yourself. The music. Usually when that music comes out, a lot of crazy things start to happen. Can I kill him? No one even noticed I killed one of their men. That is so funny. Oh yeah. Come find me. Oh shit, of course. Oh, you missed. You suck. 
Right in the throat. Right in the throat. Who else? Who else is trying to snitch? Oh my goodness, the blowhorns. Where you at? Where you at? No one's here. Let's assassinate. I just love the blade going through skin and meat and bones like that. The sound effects in this game, whoever did the sound effects deserves a raise because that's pretty sick. I love it. So we got another one, right? Right here. Beautiful. They are shook. I am killing them off little by little and they don't even know where I'm at. It's sick. Shut up! They always gotta go use their blow horn for help. You too, right? Come here. Bye. Uh, isn't he right here? We're pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the Of course he just moments. left. Yes. But Pig. Last night they argued. Only made out one word. Chigenori. What's that? I'll search the watchtower. Find somewhere safe. Oh, that's the name. More Mongols come. So let me go ahead and steal their stuff because I just love doing that. I mean, they're not going to use it, so why would I not take it? What been doing? This is a long ladder, I'm not going to lie. One misstep and I'm done for. There's nothing up here. So I'll go down here, I guess. What's this? The Mongols have their own version of Shigenori's tale. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. White so that's why he's working with them? Bleached by lightning in the tale. He is really hell bent on trying to figure out this tale. A dueling ring. He's looking for it. Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves. There are trees like that not far from here. Where? That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. Trust me, I will. You best believe. Need to find white leaf trees. White leaf trees. Let me take that, thank you. Excuse me, I'm not trying to run anyone over. Okay, so... Where is this white leaf tree? Did I pass it? Where is this? Seriously, where is this white leaf tree? I hate being lost. I really do. Look for the white leaf tree. Okay, so none of these trees are white. I'm gonna go over here. And obviously, if I'm way off the point, I know Ghost of Tsushima is gonna be like, hey, not there, over here. Maybe up here? Who knows? I don't know. Have I been here before? Huh. Where is this place? Where is the white leaf tree? Wait, I hear something. Maybe I'll go through here, see what's up. It's on fire? Mm. Through here? I 
hope I'm going the right way because if, I, if I'm not, I'm actually lost. I don't know if I'm actually going through the right path or not. All I know is I have to look for a white leaf tree. And I don't see any trees around. I really can't detect. Wait, wait, where is it? This? Okay, so I'm actually in the, the correct area. I just gotta actually look through to actually find the tree. I appreciate the music, but I'm lost. I am so lost. Okay, so right here. So is it somewhere down here? Is that it? Okay, wait, so it is somewhere up there. Okay. It's somewhere up in this mountain, so I was in the right spot. All right, I'll just go through here. And uh, where's that opening? Right here. So he's hiding among the rocks here. Let me climb. Whoa! My goodness. I always get scared of doing this. Because what if I missed it? Alright, go through here. Squeeze on by. And, ooh, I'll take that. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go. Let's jump. Wow. The fact that he's effortlessly doing this without any issue. Let's go. Another one. Whee! Woo! Okay, cool. So I'll just move over here. No. Thank you. Let me jump on through. I'm almost halfway through this mountain. Did I? Did I accidentally descend? Wow. I feel so foolish right now. Okay, let's try it again. And this time, do not hit that descend button. I'm sorry, it's... Since I am recording this early in the morning, my brain is processing things a lot more slowly, so... Forgive me. You can definitely laugh about it after watching this video, but... I can't believe I did that. What? Okay, let's go. We're doing like a speed run challenge at this point. Boom. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Nice. Okay, so. The white. Where's this white tree at? I still have not found any trees. Oh, maybe. <gasps> okay. We. Ooh, I hurt my hands, obviously, because that was a long jump. Okay, I'm right here. Yasuhira must have gathered leaves from here. Survey? Got it. Wow. This place is beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. There it is. White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tail. Travel to the White Tree Grove. Okay. So at this point, let's head on down. Come on, go down. No? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh my goodness. Come on. <gasps> I'm dead. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.